Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking on the Yuga Aoyama challenge in My Hero 1 Justice 2 Online. We're going to be doing this challenge in unranked mode um, because, you know, ranked is still down on Xbox, so I can't do anything about that till I fix it. So for the time being, we're just going to do this challenge in unranked. And um, yeah, so let me explain how to do the Aoyama challenge. So pretty much in My Hero Academia, Aoyama's quirk is called Naval Laser. It allows him to shoot a laser from his belly button. So I've chosen Yayorozu for this challenge because one of her charge quirk abilities allows her to summon a cannon and shoots a laser that looks almost identical to Aoyama's. So pretty much what the challenge is for this video is I can only do damage when the cannon firing the laser is there. Once that cannon disappears, I have to stop doing damage and reset the cannon. So does that make sense? So like when the cannon that's firing the laser is there i can do damage but once that cannon fades watch once that's gone like it fades like that i have to stop doing damage and i have to reset and set up another cannon makes sense um also if an assist does damage when the cannons are not there that's fine you know what i'm saying like if like ida does damage like this and the um and the cannon isn't there that's fine you know what i'm saying like um i can only do damage when the cannon firing the laser is there once that cannon disappears i have to stop and reset another one so once that cannon fades it's over all right so just wanted to explain it because this is going to be like one of the most hardest challenges i think i've ever done so let's get into the video Alrighty, we're jumping into our first match and we're battling an endeavor so this will be an interesting matchup i think let's just see how this goes all right hit me so I said this might be an interesting matchup because of how like Endeavor's like playstyle usually is, like it's a lot of projectiles, and I have to kind of keep my distance with this challenge, or or I can get close too because that's some free damage when the cannon's firing. But oh, that was that was so close. Um, I I fell off the wall and I almost uh, did the shield rush ability, but thankfully he hit me, so I didn't do any damage to him. Thank goodness he kind of just saved me from having to reset around. But let's see if we can bring this comeback. So first off, let's get off this wall because. Uh, fighting on the wall usually leads to this. Um, okay. Alright, cannon time. Uh, that didn't work. Okay. Uh, okay, alright. I can't keep holding my distance. Um, or I could. Oh, it's lagging. Come on, please stop lagging. Lag, what are you doing? I need to concentrate. No, okay. Yeah, no. I, I can't. Oh my goodness, he still hit that. I was trying to use Eda to break it because I couldn't take any more damage, but he still hit that. Oh, well, level one. A raw level one. That is a interesting tactic, but it's not going to work. And let me use my level one now because I gotta, I gotta make up a lot of damage. Okay. All right. And a free reset, right? Uh, okay. I couldn't roll. Oh, I'm still frozen? What? I thought I was blocking. Like, I pressed the, I pressed the um, block button and I, I was playing the roll, but it didn't roll. And I'm like, oh, he must be guarding then. But okay. Oh my goodness. There is some, like, delay. Oh my goodness. There is some delay. I I, I don't know if you, I, it's hard for you guys to tell, but like, I'm like a second behind for some reason. Like, like I have to like predict like a second ahead. Like, this is crazy. Oh my goodness. Especially in a challenge that I think is going to be like one of the hardest things for me. Like, th this is not optimal right now. <laughs> But you know what? This is for Ayama, so I do not mind. Let's uh, let's see if we can predict then. It, it, this is just more of a prediction game. Uh, okay, perfect. That's a good beefy damage. Didn't hit him. All right, sick. Uh, roll out. Oh, okay, sick, 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 sick. All right, hit me, hit me, hit me. I need to reset my cannon. Thank you. Okay. Back out. Oh, no. oh Jiro, no, no, Jiro, you didn't have to do that. You didn't have to hit me with the sound wave of power. Oh. Uh oh, oh, I just wasted that. Oh, I just faced Palm because I wasted that. He hit against the wall. Oh, I didn't waste it. Okay. And the cannon's still there, so it counts. Alright, sick, sick, sick. Um, uh, okay. Yeah, hit me. Oh, he, he's gonna use level 2. I, uh, I, I am a psychic. I knew that was gonna happen. I tried calling out Ida faster. Dang. I knew that was gonna happen. But, like, I, I just couldn't read it fast enough. Dang it. Alright, well, I'm not surviving this. No way I survive an Endeavor level 2. It's, uh,. It's a solid first round. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Alright, well, at least we're getting the fundamentals of the challenge, like, down. Like, we're, we're, this is a good practice round for the challenge. So, now this is where the real game begins. Alrighty, so, uh, GG to that guy, and, uh, let's just hop into the next match. Alrighty, we're hopping into our next match. We're battling another Endeavor. There are a lot of Endeavors on tonight, so let's see how this goes. 
Alrighty, so please hit me first, thank you. Alright, so now let's talk about Ayama, um, you know, the, the main point of this video. Let's just stop rambling about how hard the challenge is gonna be. So, Aoyama. Uh, let me first start off by saying Aoyama is my second favorite character, so now you know all three of my favorite characters. It's, uh, yeah, but why is Aoyama my second favorite character? Because I think every single time we see him, he grows a little bit more. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, at the beginning, he seemed like a, you know, a real, like, uh, selfish kind of character. Someone who only really kind of cares about himself. And then, you know, later we get to see that he wants to be like everyone else. And, you know, he doesn't want to be as, like, uh, cowardly, I would say. I mean, I don't really know if that's what he meant by, like, he wants to be like everyone else or, like, power level-wise. But, like... You know, he's growing every single time we see him, not just in his quirk developments, but like, you know, in his personality, like, we've seen him trying to, like, be more brave, like, in the beginning, he, he was kind of just a character who just kind of hit a lot, but now he's like, you know, uh, for example, when they were in the forest training arc, like, uh, he stepped up to help save Bakugo by shooting Compress in the face with his laser, you know what I'm saying? That, that sounded super weird, but like, yeah, that's what happened, and it, it was super cool, like, you know what I'm saying? You get to see Aoyama step up because, you know, he's just learning not to be afraid, and you know, being afraid is fine, like, thinking about it, like, if you're in, like, a life or death situation, it's okay to be, like, afraid, but, like, you know, other characters are not, but it doesn't make you any worse, like, and Aoyama is growing past that, and I like that. And, you know, like another example, during the provisional license exam, um, he wanted to, you know, in, uh, he already had two of his targets hit, so he was going to sacrifice himself so Ida could pass. So that was really cool. Um, what else? Oh, and then the whole thing with Deku, like, he wanted to help Deku out because he's seen that, like, a lot of stress because of the, uh, Chisake raid, and, you know, it was really cool getting to see him grow with Deku as well, starting to open up more to the class instead of being kind of, like, alone, and it was super cool. Um, also sometimes when he's on the screen he makes me laugh. I think he can be a pretty funny character at times as well. Uh, ooh, free damage? Yes, sir. Alright, oh, but Dobby broke it, but I did get, like, full damage, so that's pretty good. Um, oh, okay. I think when Endeavor does those, like, spear slash balls things, I think that's my move. Uh, okay, I already have it charged up. There we go. Oh, see, it didn't come out fast enough, dang. Out, in, uh, oh, is that a level one? Alright, that was pretty smart. I like how he comboed it with the uh, NASA thing. That was pretty cool. Uh, I'm just glad it wasn't level two because I'm not afraid of the level two's damage. I'm just afraid of watching that animation. It is so long. I think his is the longest endeavors. But, uh, anyway, GG to that guy and, uh, let's get into the next match. Okay, so we're jumping into our next match. We're battling a Kirishima. So... This will be interesting because Kirishima is a close quarter kind of fighter, so let's see how this goes. Alright buddy, hit me. Thank you. Oh, this is going to be a lot harder though, because now I'm thinking, because like, he has his armor ability like on like the entire time. Okay, ooh. Ooh, okay, we're in for a matchup. This is, this, okay, 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 okay. This will be interesting. Alright, let's do this. Let's back up. Laser can. Uh, okay, can I get in there in time? Yes, sir. Oh, I couldn't. Mm. I couldn't get in there in time to do the red attack and break him out of that. Uh, okay, let's hold a distance and then laser. And then because he slowed down because of the armor, boom! And then we break him out of the armor. Let's go. And then do it again. <laughs> Alright, this might be this might be good. Uh, he just keeps doing it. Uh, red attack. Oh, but Mineta. Okay. That's not good. Uh, I gotta hold my distance here. Oh, okay. That's fine. Hit me. Alright, cool. Um, so, what we were talking about last- Oh yeah, so, we were talking about Ayama. Can we just talk about why this character didn't make it into this game? Like, think about it. One of Ayama's biggest moments in the series was the provisional license exam, right? And that was like the first half of the campaign. Like, that would've been a prime time to throw him in, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, one of his biggest moments is the first half of the campaign. Perfect time to throw him in, but they just chose no. Especially because you also think about it, he was in another My Hero fighting game. There was a, uh, a fighting game on the 3DS, and I don't know if it was the 3D fighter to be exact, like, exact, but it, it was a fighter game, you know? So, you know, they kind of had a moveset for him. I'm surprised they didn't just throw him into the game, you know what I'm saying? They kind of had a moveset from that one fighting game, and, um... You know, one of his biggest moments in the series was the provisional licensing exam, which was the first half of the campaign. So that's why I was like, man, why didn't they add him into the game? Prime opportunity, but I don't know. I guess 
I guess maybe an of My Hero 1 just as 3, or maybe a uh, Season 2 DLC pass. Highly doubtful, but that'd be pretty cool. I wouldn't mind a Season 2 pass. Um, yeah, Red Attack. Oh, it didn't come out fast enough. Oh, okay. I almost, I almost just um, accidentally did another attack, but thankfully I held off on it. Okay. Uh, uh, see, like he just barely makes it through where the red, the uh, the red attack doesn't come out fast enough. Like, uh, come on, can I get it now? Oh, okay, no. Uh, that's fine. Oh, I should have charged up my beam. He, he keeps stopping the combo. I, you know you can continue it, right, buddy? Like that's. Maybe you can do. Uh, okay. Boom. Oh, okay. That works. Oh, okay. Thankfully, it, oh, even if I did hit him, the cannon was still there, so that's fine. Uh, okay. I got worried. Ooh, uh, a level one from Jiro assist. Interesting. Uh, okay. It's cannon time. It's a level one time, gamers. Alrighty, come on. Boom, boom. Oh, can we secure this round from this challenge? This challenge was so freaking hard, please. Here, hit me. I, I, don't, I don't even want to risk it. I want to make sure the cannon is charged up. It is charged up. Okay. One clear uh, belly button shot, and this is all over. And predict. Alright, yes! Oh, finally. You don't know how long this challenge took. I... <laughs> I may not have sounded excited there, but like I'm just tired. This challenge took forever. Trust me, it's a, it's a really hard challenge. Oh my goodness, that takes a load off my shoulders. Hell, GG to that guy. Oh my gosh. All right, anyway, guys, I think I'm gonna call that video quits there. We finally beat the Aoyama challenge. Um, this was definitely, I think, one of the hardest challenges I've ever done. Um, it definitely tops the race. It was extremely hard because of how narrow the uh, beam was, not to mention like you really can't move around when you're with the cannon and then you gotta wait for the cannon to spawn in. It was really hard, but we finally beat it. So that's good. And you know what? I don't mind putting in the extra work for Aoyama because I like Aoyama. I think he's a really good character. I like how they just keep making him better and better, you know, with his character progressing from just being like self-centered to like, you know, growing and wanting to be like everyone else, a hero. And I really like that. His quirk, Naval Laser, we forgot to talk about this. Naval Laser, it's pretty cool. I like how it works where it's like, you know, because like a laser can be like super overpowered. But like they kind of like nerf it with the uh, stomach ache, and that's pretty cool. And I, I like it. It can be good for like a lot of things: combat, rescue. We can like blow away debris and stuff like that. It's got good movement, but you know, all he has to do is work on the drawback, and I think it'll be a pretty good quirk. Um, I can't wait to see what they do with Aoyama because they've kind of been like just adding on to his story a lot more, you know. And it's weird because like when you first see him, you kind of think he's gonna be like a real like main character, like a real main player, but then he kind of gets pushed off to the side for a bit but now they're bringing him back into the light and that's pretty cool um wish Aoyama was in this game surprised it didn't add him for multiple reasons you know because important part of the story which like you know was in the campaign and uh he was already in another fighting game but you know we can hope that he'll be in the next one or if they ever do another DLC pass, that'd be pretty cool. But um yeah, so that is the Ayama challenge. If you guys want to give it a go, by all means, please try it. It, it was really hard for me. Um, my time is, I don't even really know. It's been so long that I have lost track of time. It's been a couple hours, actually. I don't even know how long this challenge took, but... It's a, it's a very long challenge, so good luck. It is definitely on the longest challenge list, you know what I'm saying? Agakure kind of um, held that spot, but now it's Aoyama. So, yeah, so... Yeah, it was Aoyama's challenge, and uh, yeah. Okay, guys, so this is going to be a little different. So normally, this is where the random number generator would be. But seeing that we only have three characters, Ida, Shoot Style, and Infinite 100% Deku left, I'm just going to change it up a bit. So the way this is going to work now is next time, I'm just going to play Ida. Um, the reason why I'm just changing it up is because, A, I feel like if I did Ida next, it just makes a lot more sense, you know, because we've already did one Deku. He was the first episode. And I'd rather get all the unique Class 1A characters done first before we do another Deku. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, 
if I did shoot style next, like if I if I uh, rolled the random number generator and I got shoot style, then we would have like another Deku before Ida, and that just to me seems kind of weird. I feel like we should have Ida first, then shoot style, and then to have the series finale, I want to do infinite one hundred percent Deku. So that's our roadmap now. Sorry guys, no random number generator today, but we are going to be doing Ida then shoot style, then infinite 100% Deku. Okay, guys, um, I'm sorry for changing up the series, but, like, we're coming down to the end, and I just want to do Ida first because I feel like it just makes a lot more sense. So, yeah, so next time we're going to be playing Tenya Ida. Um, I'm really looking forward to that because Ida is a really good character in this game, and I really like him. So it's going to be um, fun playing him. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. That would be amazing. A lot of work went into this one a, a lot, like, a lot a lot um so yeah so i hope you guys did enjoy this video and uh yeah i guess i'll see you guys next time bye